Do you still have the handout from last week? Yeah, we still need it a little bit. Can you guys access your computer? Can you do anything? Okay, anyway, we'll use the computer later. So for the first part, maybe you can... So the first thing we wanted, to, well, first thing I want to do today is I wanted to. We last week we spent a lot of uh, time to learn vocabulary from the first article. So now this week we should be able to read the article without too much of a problem. So what I want us to practice today is the skill of uh, kind of um, oral summary. Okay, oral summarizing in our own words. So what I will want, what I will ask you, uh, what I will ask you to do is I will ask one person to read a paragraph out loud just to hear your pronunciation, and then I will ask the next person to give us a summary in their own words of that paragraph. Just put it in your own words, okay? The reason is when you're reading, maybe you're focusing on your pronunciation, so you won't be able to give me the uh, the summary very well. Also, I want to surprise the next person. So that means you don't know who it will be that I would choose to ask to give the summary. So that means everybody have to follow along. Okay? Do you understand what we are going to do? We're just going to try to summarize the uh, each paragraph. Put it in your own words. So you don't have to use any big words. Try to practice using small words to um, that you already know to describe something. That's the activity we're going to practice today. Um, so let me get my pen so I can make sure to be fair about everybody. So I would just choose people at random, okay? One, you will probably have a chance to do this kind of activity in the future if you don't get to do it today. All right, so is, where's, is Nina here? Okay, Nina, you will be a, you're going to read the first paragraph out loud for us, okay? So just read it very loud and very clear. Or do you need a microphone? Do you need a microphone? Okay, you've got a good loud voice. So read loud and clear. Everybody else will follow along and then I will choose one person to give us an oral summary in, in your own words, okay? The You, you should do it, yeah. 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 I don't know, you should swim. <laughs> 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 <
Okay, good. Okay. I think my microphone is so low. Okay, so the next person is, that I want to give a summary in your own words is Justin. Justin, so can you give us a, can you give us an oral summary? Can you stand up, not look at the paper, and give us an oral summary? Oh, and Elijah, come. The government just redesigned a new bill of one hundred dollars. Yeah. What does anti-counterfeiting mean? Well, you, you can know it's, it's too low okay? Yeah, they will try to add something to the bill to make it harder, harder for people to make a fake one. Yeah, that's anti-counterfeiting. They try to make it harder to make a fake one. Okay, good job. Yeah, you did a great job. All right, so the next uh, person that I want to Read. Let's just do it this way. So, uh, Lewis, can you also read the second paragraph? face. Can you speak louder? Can you talk loud? Okay. Just use uh, Nina as an example. You can stand, maybe you can stand up. Stand up. I can hear you loud, loud and clear. Redesign. Dimensional. Tilted. Tilted. Can you please uh, pronounce tilted again? Tilted. Tilted. Mm -hmm. Summary. <coughs> Don't look at your paper. Just stand up, see what you can remember. Don't look at your paper. Don't look at your paper. Stand up. Don't look at your paper. Don't look. See what you can remember. Do you remember? Don't look. Louder. Three dimension. Don't use three dimension. Oh, it's a big word. I don't know what it means. Huh? Three D. Oh, okay. But okay. So the bill has some three D stuff. Yeah. Like what? Do you remember? Okay. What would the three D thing do? The picture, what will happen to the picture on the money? It will look like what? <coughs> it's not a big word. You can just say it will change. It will change. The picture will change when you move the, the bill, right? It's easy to say. You, could, you want to try again? Start from the beginning. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, 
No, no, no. When you move the field, when you move the field, the picture will also change. Right? Yeah, you don't have to use a bigger word, actually. Because I want you to put in your own words so you can just say, oh, very easily, you can say, oh, the, uh, the government has a new bill and put some special 3D pictures on it. And when you move the pictures, when, the bill, when you move the bill, you can see the picture will change. It's easy way, right? Yeah, you don't have to use those big words that are inside. That's what I want you to do, okay? Still, good job. Okay. Um, so, Justin, can you be a reader for the next, for the next paragraph? Okay. The no is the best United States currency domination, denomination denomination to undergo the new color of money. President that started with the printing in 2002, introducing substance and others and other security features to pay for currency as part of effort to stay ahead of counterfeiter. Counterfeiter. Okay, good. Alright. So um Stephanie? So do can you provide us a kind of a summary in your own words of what he just read? What the paragraph means? Don't be shy. Try, I'll help you. Want to stand up? What do you think that paragraph means? Of course you know. You read it many times. You know. Just try. You can do it. We're here to help you. It's time for learning English. Don't. Don't think you can't. You can do it. You can do anything. This is all English program. Just try what you think it's about. Do you still have your paper? Oh. So, how about you listen to what I say and see if you can understand and give, give me some idea of what it is. I will read it out loud again. And I'll read it slowly and see if you can try to tell me something about what it's about, okay? Okay? The note is the last United States currency domination, uh, the, sorry, yeah, domination to undergo the new color of money, a facelift that started with the $20 note in 2003, introducing subtle hues and other security features to paper currency as part of the efforts to stay ahead of counterfeiters. So the note there is talking about the $100 bill. The note is the last United States currency denomination to undergo the new color of money facelift that started with the $20 note in 2003, introducing subtle hues and other security features to paper currency as part of the efforts to stay ahead of counterfeiters. So, in your own words, do you, can you remember anything about what that might mean? Yeah, America makes this change of, to their money, to what? So you, you don't have to use secure, you can say, oh, maybe to keep it, keep from what happening. They do the change to the money about a collar to do what? <coughs> yeah, 
to protect from the fake money. See? You, you did it. Good job. So, also this paragraph said one other thing. It said this was the last, uh, last uh, currency. So they did other currency before. It started with a $20 bill, so they did other currencies also. So it means every kind, like in Taiwan, you, right now we basically only have a $100 bill, $500, and $1,000. So in the U.S., we have one, five, ten, twenty, fifty, and one hundred. So they started to do through all of them. Um, so this was the last one. The hundred dollar bill was the last one they did, and the twenty dollar bill was the first one. All right. So Bert, Bert, can you be the reader for the next paragraph? Is genuine. And is genuine. 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 Said Michael J. Denberg, associate director of the Federal Reserve. Okay, good. So, can we have, uh, let's see, Cherry? Cherry? Can you tell us what that small paragraph means? It's a wonderful work. What does that mean? It's a wonderful work. People take two seconds and then they can see. It's, it's real or fake. Right, exactly. Good job. So people can only just take a couple of seconds and know if it's real or fake because they did a really good job. All right? So the next person to read is Alice. Alice, can you read the next paragraph? Are you okay? You sick? Okay. One hundred dollar. The one hundred dollar bill is an especially hot item on the global stage. The Federal Reserve statement estimates estimates that one half to two thirds of the 100 notes in circulation are poured at any given time, making them one of the nation's largest exports. All right, thank you. So, Trisha? Hi, Trisha. Do you think you can try to give us a summary of what that paragraph means? Your own words? It's a hot issue. It's what? Hot issue. It's a hot issue. What do you mean? Don't read the words because I can read. Tell me in your own words what do you think this means. You tell me what you think it means. Then will show me inside. And then if you get it wrong or not too right, I'll help you. Just try. Many, oh, I couldn't hear you for that. What should, many countries what? Yeah, so many countries need uh, the $100 bill. Yeah? So. That's basically what he's trying to say is because many countries uh, need or want or use the $100 bill, so it will be very popular all over the world. That's all it means. And it, say, it says also that it's the nation's largest export. That means out of the thing that people want from the United States is the $100 bill. People love it. Yeah? Okay? Good. Um, can you go ahead and also read... Uh, you're Alice, right? Who's Alice? Alice. Sorry, I confused. You read already. You are Trisha? Trisha, right? Can you go ahead and read the next paragraph for us, Trisha? Okay. Can you read louder? Use your power.
treasury. Okay, so uh, Bert, can you tell us what that means? Okay, do your best. Money is what? Fake. 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 The money is fake. Yes. Okay. And 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 the Federal Reserve want to renew this money again. Mm. Kind of. They just say that not the money is fake, but the the one that those people like to make fake bills of is the $100 bill. Uh, the m most popular one is to make the, the most popular bill around the world is $100 bill. And also the most po so the most popular one people want to make a fake one of is the $100 bill. So the Federal Reserve say, oh, we need to really make sure this one is very good. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So they try to spread the word. So spread the word means advertise. Yeah. So let me ask you another. Let me just ask you another question. Why do you think they will want to advertise so much about this new one hundred dollar bill? Uh, could you speak again? Yeah. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you, why do you think they would want to advertise so much about this one hundred dollar bill? Uh, because uh, everybody will make the fake one hundred one hundred dollar. Yeah, so? So, so the whole fees, $100, want to advise. Want to advise? A advertisement. Yeah, but so why would they want to do this kind of advertising to people who are making the fake $100 bill? That's my question. How would it be against the fake 100? What? How will it be against the fake $100 bills? The counterfeit $100 bills? Uh, yeah, but how will advertising and letting the people know that, that they have a new $100 bill kind of decrease this? Do you have any idea? I don't believe you. You just think that's the easiest way to get me to let you sit down. Do you know what my question is? I wanted you to say, I wanted you to think more logically, to keep thinking more, to say like, oh, they advertise the $100 bill to let everybody know, including the counterfeiters, the people who make the fake bills, so that they will stop. Yeah, that's why they did all the advertising. Do you understand what I mean? They do the advertising about the new $100 bill, and they let those people who usually make the fake bills hear this advertising. Why? They want to let them know this $100 bill is really hard to counterfeit. It's really hard to make a fake one. And that way, it will prevent them from making fake ones because maybe they it will deter them, meaning that they won't want to do it anymore because they will hear, oh, it's very, very difficult. So that's why they want to advertise it so much. They want to advertise it for those people that make fake bills to know about it. Say, oh, we really did a really good one this time. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so the next paragraph, the person I need the next paragraph to be read by is uh, Lorraine. Okay, can you read the next paragraph?
meter. Okay? So where is Robert? Robert? So, Robert, do you think you can tell us what that paragraph means? All oh, right, you didn't come to class last time. Okay, have a seat. You don't have a paper, I guess. Uh, let's see uh, who can take over for Robert. Um, Kiwi. Is there a Kiwi here? Can you tell us what that means? Huh? It took a long time because of two reasons. What were the two reasons? Well, not really it took a long time. It was delayed. Delayed, right? Delayed. Do you know delay? The word delay? Yeah, delayed. So it was delayed for two reasons. Do you remember? Two similar reasons. About what? Yeah, something about the ink, the printing problem. Two printing problems. That's easy. It, it's easy to summarize this paragraph. Just say, oh, there were two printing problems, so it was delayed for a long time. Okay, thank you. So let's have uh, the next reader to be Liz. L I Z. Liz, is Liz here? No, Liz. Liz, Liao, Yi, Zhi. No? No, Liz? She died. I don't know. No, I'm making a joke. I hope she didn't die. I hope she's still alive. Okay, so maybe the reader can be Johnny. Can you read? Loud and clear? Okay. <coughs> the Inspector Gen General office at the Treasury Department released a report in 2012 attributing the delay to a pro production uh, failure, failure. failure that potentially could have been avoided and has already resulted in increased costs. Okay, thank you. So can we have, uh, let's have raccoon. Can you tell us what this means? waste a lot of money, okay? So the next paragraph is so easy, I will just read it. Experts say the efforts appear to have paid off. It just means some people um, that know about this issue think that um, have paid off here means it's worth it. So they spent a long time, a lot of money to develop this bill, but these experts they think it's worth it because probably in the end it will prevent the counterfeiting. That's probably what this uh, sentence in the article means. So can we have the next reader to be um, Grace? Grace, can you read the next one loud and clear? So can we have, uh, who, who just read? I forgot, what's your name, Lorraine? Grace, okay, how about Lorraine? Where's Lorraine? Lorraine, can you tell us what that means? Mm 
Yeah, yeah, good job. All right, so can the next reader be uh, Debbie? Debbie? Is Debbie with Liz? So no Debbie. Okay, no Debbie? All right, so the next reader can be Raccoon, can you read? Is Jennifer here? Okay, can you tell us what it means? Yeah, it's hard to make a fake one. Especially you can't just do some copying to make a fake one. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, can we have the next reader to be Stephanie? Can you be your next reader? this person yeah. okay maybe they all have a party together okay so Tony can you tell us what this means you cut your hair yes you change your name Able or unable? Currently unable. Are you sure? Mm. Mm. They're not saying that they're totally unable. They just said they may not. They didn't say they were really. They didn't say that they really won't be able to. They just said that they are. That. They didn't say they are not going to be unable to meet the debate. They're just saying this paragraph is trying to say that it will be very seamless in the United States. Seamless means very easy, shunli, right? Very easy to transition. But you say in other countries, they're not used to the old system. And they're not used to this kind of system. Because in the US, when you have a new bill, the new bill and the old bill, we use it at the same time. Until And every time the bank gets an old bill, they will destroy it and make a new one. But in the other countries, it's not working like that because the old bill needs to make it back to the, uh, to the U.S. before that can happen. So they're afraid, so those people in the other country will be afraid of the old, having the old bill. So that's what they're trying to say. They're just saying that it, it's going to be hard in other countries because the people in the other countries will have to make sure they take all of their money 
to a bank that will accept the old money. Just like in Taiwan now, if you have certain US dollars, the ones that were counterfeited a lot before, if you try to use it at the bank, they would just say, oh, we don't accept it. We won't accept this bill. Uh, or they'll say, it's an old bill. Um, but if you're in the US, it's very easy. So they're just saying they're afraid about, in the very beginning, in those other countries, to make sure they get all of the bills over there and let them exchange it out. Because if people keep the old bill, those banks in the other country may not want to deal with it. Although the U.S. want to help them to deal with it, but maybe those other countries won't deal with it because they have different procedure. Okay, very similar to what you said, but just that they didn't say they won't have, they're not going to have enough for the demand. They're just worried that those people in the other countries won't be so smooth to transition from the old bill to the new bill. Yep. Okay, thank you. So, can we have, um, let's see, uh, Claire, Claire to be the next reader. Okay, so it's just like what I was saying, they're afraid they'll get the old bill and then when the old bill, they cannot get rid of the old bill. They're stuck with it. Means I can't. It's worth money, but not in my country, so I can't exchange it because I'm not in the U.S. to get it to get the new bill. Okay. Um, can we have Cherry to be the next reader? Yeah, read the next one too because it's too short. <laughs> we stand ready to get them the notes they last they need. And uh, obviously, 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 our goal and our objective is to miss the demand. He said, whether that's international, international or Okay, so can we have um, Cindy? Cindy, can you tell us what those last two paragraphs mean? with the what? Uh, no, uh, but about which part there's no problem. But what is the objective and the goal? Huh? No, it's talking about uh, to have enough have enough. The goal here they're talking about is having enough. Whether it's international or domestic doesn't matter because they were talking about earlier to have enough US dollars and the new one to exchange for the old one. Saying it means demand. Yeah, I mean the demand means have enough, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big, the big part there. Okay, so that's this article, we finish it. So now we have another article, right? So we still have a few minutes before our break. So what I'm going to do is, let's see. Uh, I want you to, does everybody have a partner? Can two, two people work together today? Have at least two people? So would you two like to work together? And let's see. Would you two like to work together? Yeah. Would you like to work with the lonely guy in the back? There's a lonely guy in the back. You want to work with him? Yeah? No. No? Okay, so everybody have a, has a partner. So here's what I want you 
here's what. I don't have my partner. Oh, so sad. I didn't notice you because you're sick. So I think nobody wants to work with you. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Do you want to? Who do you want to work with? You want to work with? You want to work with them? Okay, you can work. Have one group of three. Okay, so I can give you guys more work to do than others, because you have three. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you, I'm going to assign you some paragraphs from the article. So you can go ahead and uh, number your paragraphs. One, two, three, four, five, so you'll know which ones. Okay, so go ahead and number them. One, two, through, I don't know how many we have. You number them and you tell me how many paragraphs we have. So there's what, how many? 20, 28? Yeah. An earlier version. Oh, the last one is not really a paragraph. The last, it's just a, they make a change to the article. So there's 28. Mm. Okay, let's see. It's very, very small. Okay. Okay, I'll give you three, just the first the first two paragraphs. Yeah. So I'll give you guys paragraph three and four. Three and four. Five and six. Seven and eight. Nine and ten. 11 and 12. Can you handle 11 and 12? Yeah, it's easy. It's easy. 11 and 12. Yeah. 13.